हेलो एवरी वन आई एम डॉक्टर अनुषा हंद्राल कंसल्टेंट एंडोक्रोनोलॉजिस्ट एंड डायबिटोलॉजिस्ट एट मणिपाल हॉस्पिटल्स वाइट फील्ड बेंगलुरु बेस्ट विशेष ऑफ द ईयर टूडे आई एल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट एन इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक कॉल्ड एज जेस्टेशनल डायबिटीज मलाइटिस This usually happens during pregnancy, as the name explains. During gestation, this is known to cause high blood glucose levels and can cause effect on the baby and the pregnancy outcomes. When does this usually happen? It happens uh, between 24 to 28 weeks of gestation in the second trimester. it usually happens because the insulin in a female body is not able to work effectively largely because of uh, hormones which are released in the pregnancy uh, something like a uh, human placenta lactogen which uh, makes insulin work uh, less effectively or creates artificial insulin resistance uh, this leads to high blood glucose levels somebody who has had family history of diabetes or who has had some mild kind of glucose intolerance or pre diabetes prior to pregnancy somebody who is overweight or obese or who has put on lot of weight during the pregnancy largely this can be asymptomatic when the blood glucose levels are in the lower range we need to do series of test which the gynecologist will order it will be a two step process where some amount of glucose will be given and the blood glucose will be checked after an hour if the blood glucose levels are higher the pregnant lady will be subjected to do one more blood test which is a glucose tolerance test once the levels are higher she will be advised to meet the endocrinologist first and foremost we will ask all pregnant mothers to do their blood glucose monitoring using a glucometer which will help us in fine tuning of the blood glucose levels number second we'll focus more on diet and exercise diet we request mothers who are gdm to take whole cereals avoid uh, refined carbohydrates simple carbs uh, cut off your sugars from the diet use lot of lentils more of vegetables and fiber rich diet control your portions and also try to exercise or walk especially breakfast post lunch post dinner which is largely known to help reduce the blood glucose levels try to at least walk for 15 20 minutes per day again exercise can be restricted in few pregnant mothers we need to have a, a discussion with the gynecologist and then like plan the exercise schedule if diet and exercise do not get the blood glucose levels down we go with the insulin which is a best form of treatment for diabetes during pregnancy based upon the blood glucose levels we may advise one or two types of insulin it is important that the blood glucose levels are controlled otherwise it can increase the risk of complications during pregnancy in the form of increased birth weight of the baby which can lead on to a cesarean section or a difficult delivery it can also cause preterm delivery hence uh, idea is to screen for diabetes at regular intervals during pregnancy adopt healthy lifestyle and be physically active during pregnancy and as and when the blood glucose levels are higher consult your physician or endocrinologist so that we can help you optimize your blood glucose levels so that the risk of complications are lesser